guys welcome back to my channel once again it's your boy style one and um here again with another episode as you all know please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell for more videos uh today what i have for you i came across one video that make me happy and uh it's make me know that there will be change one day of this property should be arrested Complete. immediately. Complete. The contractor, all those working here, must be arrested Complete. immediately. It doesn't make sense. Look at this. It Look at this. Sense. And you destroy the road without the consent of the road. You destroy the road, the public road. In which country can this be allowed? In which country can this be allowed? In your own country, can anybody do this? It's madness. It's madness. The owner of this property eh, is not bigger than this country. The owner of this property is not bigger than this country. Even the president of the republic, with all the executive powers in his hands, can't do this and won't do this. What kind of indiscipline is this? And we sit in this country and allow this nonsense to go on with impudence you enter into the road corridor creating inconveniences to all those who use this stretch of the road you have destroyed the road and you think you have the power to do that even all is not being changed then there will be something that you know that we will be all happy to see in the future. These are the kind of people, the one I'm coming to talk about. You should be arrested and, and, and prosecuted. It's national security here. This man must be picked. Please pick him. Pick him and arrest him. Put him in the car. This nonsense will not be allowed in our country. Foreigners, foreigners come into our, our country and, and, and engage in all kinds of things. We destroy public road, public property. Because of this property, because of this property, can you do this in your own country? Arrest him. And national security should stop the construction. And hey. anybody engage in it, please arrest all of them. Hey. Arrest all hey. of them. Hey. 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 Come. Everybody should come. Everybody should come. Arrest all of them. Stop whatever you do and come. Hey, everybody should come. Stop whatever you do and come. Hurry up. Can this be done in your own country? Can you do this in your own country? Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Kill the people of the country. Hurry up. We are more sensible than those in your country. Can you do this in your own country? With impudence, hey, you, you hey, break hey, 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 to the roof. Hey, Everybody here should be arrested. Come. Hey, move to this side. Come. Go, go, go. And the inconvenience is here. Line up, line up. All of you, come, 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 Hey, sit down. Look at how you have Uncle. destroyed the road. Another hand off. Huh? Look at how you have Stop. destroyed the road. Please, as soon as you get here, make yourself comfortable. Hey, get back. Uh. Hey. Please. If you don't let them hide and get you, you'll be sorry. Rest down the body and prove it. Please sit down and you want to be Our own security here. Hey, I ask you to sit down, not to squat. What is about? Sit down for both. Please. Rest down the hoarding. Hey, come. Raise it down. It's a common man, relax. Because of this property, 
You distress public road. Please, as soon as you get your sit down. It's nonsensical and madness. It's madness. It's madness. Come on. Sit. You think this property is more important than the interest of the 30 million people of this country? And can you do hey, this? Look at this. Hurry up. Hurry up. Time for you. Hurry up. These are the kind of people we should be having in our governments. These are the kind of people we need in Africa to stand for the civilians, to stand for his or her people in the country we are living in, Africa. I came across this video. A man from Ghana, a minister for that matter, minister of road and infrastructure in Ghana. This man is a well-deserving man. It's a man whom you know he loves his country. He loves his people. He loves everything about his country. Why I said so? Because the only thing, the, the thing I see this man doing shows that he is there to do his work as, as he was sworn in for the position he held. We all know in Africa it's not easy. We are all seeing our, our, our ministers, our leaders, how they are governing us, how they are doing things which us, the civilians, we cannot have. Bad governance in Africa. But this man, the minister, uh, the name uh, is Amako. If I sorry if I have pronounced it wrongly, but he's a man whom you know he deserves our respect, especially Ghanaians. This man sought a foreign contractor who are building this uh, 22 story building at the airport. That's not a problem. To build it but the way they are doing it is very very bad it's not good and uh, I blame also the physical planning the physical plan who gave them the right to come and do the, uh, that work in uh, in that place until they they enter the road of the public where the people should pass. You build your uh, building until you enter the roadside of the people. It's very bad. The fiscal planners should be held accountable for that act too. Because they have done something which you know. The road, public road should be white. Not to be tied, disturbing the movement of the citizen in that area. So it's something that you know that this man deserves our respect by stopping them, holding them accountable for that, what they are doing. How many of us Africans will be crazy? How many of us, uh, uh, our, uh, how many of our African contractors will be crazy to go into, uh, in, in the foreign countries like in Europe or another Asian country to do these kind of things there? How many of us will do that? You will be locked. You will be... What you are doing there, that building will be... They will bring the building down. Because you have touched your public property. Public roads should be left without touching them without constructing your building to go up to where people are passing. There should be a distance, a far distance between the road. This man did wonders. And I'm in support of him for doing that. Because those people would not allow us to be doing these kind of things in their country. We have to take care of our country. 
the blame also should be much on our people themselves because they are the people who give them power who gave them the mandate to do what they are doing in our countries in africa if not they won't have the power or the mandate to do those kind of things in the country but the people we call we trust and they are the people who are breaking the trust we have for them we indulge ourselves into bribery corruptions in our countries in africa that is the only reason today we are not who we are though we are all working for the money but you have to be careful for putting millions of people in a problem you help your own self put other people in a problem that is too bad we all have to run away from those kind of things i respect this man for arresting all those people involved in this kind of act in their country we should have his kind so much in a country that we will see that country will move forward but no in africa when we have someone working for the betterment of the country then there are people who will be fighting that one uh, that person on the ground to see that he or she is being sacked from the position he is holding because the person is blocking a lot of things that they should benefit from for their personal use not for the benefit of the country this is in the system of africans the one who is working to see the progress of the country move forward is the one the government or the other agents will be fighting to see that the person is down instead of helping or supporting the guy the person to move forward but we won't do that we will just keep on fighting each other just because I am blocking your uh, lock in a bad way, corruption, and all that in bribery. We have to, we all have to be pious. We all have to be people whom you know we love our country. We want to defend our country. We should stand for the country. So this is what we should be doing in Africa. Thank you very much once again for watching. It's your boy Stano One. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Thank you.